こんにちは、みなさん、ジェニンです。Hi everyone, I'm Janine and welcome back to J9 out of 10. So I started my minimalism series and this is part 2. How to start on your minimalism journey. I'm so happy to be able to share with you guys about this minimalist lifestyle. Again, this is from the concept of less is more. Minimalism helps us focus on what's important for us. If you guys haven't watched a previous video about how I became a minimalist and how it benefited me, I'll link the description down below and you go. I think you should check that out before this one. If the benefits of this lifestyle interest you and you want to start feeling like Steve Jobs, in this video I'll give you 5 tips on how to start on your minimalism journey. Tip number one figure out your why. Beginning a new lifestyle would be as hard as building a new habit. And being able to stick to it is to know the very reason why you're doing it, the reason why you're starting it in the first place. Like, for me, it was to gain more focus and clarity. Tip number two determine what gives you the most joy in your life and what doesn't. What would be the thing that you'd like to spend your time on personally and professionally? Think about it. Who are the people and what are the things that you think give more quality to your life and passion? Once you've figured out your why and what are the things that give you the most joy figured out, now's the time for tip number three get inspired. Let's be honest, minimalism is actually really hyped because of the lifestyle aesthetics that it gave the internet. It is hyped by mostly its calm and freeing aesthetic that you see online. And that makes it inspiring and motivating to start. I'm gonna be honest, I started that way too. I suggest looking through Pinterest and Instagram tags and blogs for inspiration. Alright, are you inspired yet? Okay, so this is the time you would want to do tip number four let go and declutter. Take a good look on all your possessions. And start sorting out what is essential to your happiness and passions. Things like old gifts and old stuff you haven't used in six months, I think it's the time you let it go. You make a peace with it, they made you happy, now they're just sitting there collecting dust. It's time to donate the stuff. This step is very daunting, so I will share with you guys a PDF guide or prompt. Link in the description below. Okay, so we move on to the last tip. Tip number five maintain, say no, and avoid your triggers. Now that you have minimized your possessions to what is just essential to you, maintain this white space by discipline. Minimalism is not a one-step thing. I've been doing it for years. I do. I have my relapses all the time. It's it's a slow progress. You, you can't again like a habit. You can't change like that. So what you do is figure out your triggers. Like for me, my triggers are sales on malls. Just because it's sale, I buy something that. I won't even really use, I've probably used once or twice, but I bought because it's sale. That's a trigger. When you're feeling your triggers, always try to stop yourself and always go back to your why and say no to your urges. Again, discipline is key. So these are my five tips on how you can start your minimalism journey. Anyway, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to do this lifestyle of minimalism and sustainability, Together with me, please subscribe and hit the like button, hit the bell button to know when I'm uploading. I, I'll try to upload weekly if I can, if not twice a month, hopefully. You can leave me suggestions below in the comment section, or you can always reach me on my Instagram, Jane and Sequa. I'm pretty active there. Hi, See you again next time.